Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're just gonna spend a couple minutes to talk about yesterday. Um, actually, I had my family over yesterday. My brother was here with his boys. They're all from seven, seven years old down. Um, and we got a few trucks that got broken. So we're gonna talk about them. I'm gonna fix them. There's some problems in this area. Alright, so let's get that back on. So what happened to this thing is actually it didn't really break. Um, the pin. The pin just fell out. So I have these STRC pins and we're gonna see if we can get one of these to fit. Um, I actually like these a lot better because they don't use the stupid freaking uh, C clips, which makes life a lot easier. Traxxas could easily do that, but instead they choose to use C-Clips, which, if you want my ass opinion, I think it's really fucking stupid to use C-Clips, but some people might like them. Um, so this thing actually is a pretty nice truck, this Rustler I have. I got it the way you see it, I didn't do none of the work to it, but it's got Sevex Servo. Um, it did when I bought it. It did have a brush motor in it. The brush motor broke like right away. So I'm going to try this little pen. I will not. God damn it. So that isn't going to work. That kind of sucks. God damn it. So. So this light isn't going to work. Let's see what I have. Let me try if it works. So it must be different on the slash than somehow, I don't know. So, sadly we're not going to be able to fix this one guys. So this one we're going to go back up on the shelf for now. I was going to take it off again. So now it is Russell four by four's turn. So with this one, what happened was that rear axle broke. So, I mean, this should be a pretty easy fix. I should have one. So we're just gonna fix the inside, being not that broke. And the nice thing about this truck is, I don't think I'll even have to take off the wheel because I believe everything's accessible right from here. So let's pull this screw. Oh, you guys can see this out well, sorry. Pull that screw out, this should drop. And then we can just take this axle and go like that. And then we need a 
These tracks and struck skies are so easy to fix. So that was easy peasy guys, that one is done. So now we can go ahead and throw this one back together. So guys, I'm not going to be able to fix this one, but we can talk about it because, well, we can't. Front air was broke. Uh -huh. What happened with this was my nephew was actually driving my brush slash 4x4. Um, I posted a video up of that. It should be uploaded by now. You guys can watch that if you want. Well, anyways, I was going the wrong way on our trail. If you guys have ever been out there or if you've ever seen me drive my RC stuff, um, you know how my trail goes and it goes up you go it would be you go west and then you go around the tree hit north and then come back uh, east well I was going the opposite of that and just messing around my nephew had my uh, slash 4x4 and he was coming and I was coming and well, I mean I think he could have stopped but not a big deal um, I probably could have stopped too actually but he just ended up nailing me right in this front end so it took out my arm. So we're gonna RPM this. I just I'm waiting for these. They're not here yet. And then um, right now, a lot of my stuff's actually broke. Well, the only thing that's not broke is the X Max. Um, but otherwise, the Outcast 8S. I took a gnarly hit. I actually landed on that left side of the rear there, where the wheel is, and uh. It pushed the thing, and well, it's got an RPM arm on it, so it pushed the RPM arm, and then the axle actually bent. It's got a really gnarly bend in it. Um, my oh, or my cast, my Creed and EXP. I'm gonna do a video on this soon. I just haven't yet. Um, it's running stock Spectrum electronics right now on my old crane, and the other crane I had was only about three weeks old. Um, and this ESC actually took crap. Actually, it just kept restarting itself, so I'm not sure what happened with it. I'm gonna contact Horizon see if there's anything they can do. Um, but other than that, I don't really know. My X Max is still in one piece. My X Max had a good day yesterday. I put the new shock caps on it and stuff, and uh, it's been going good. My nephew's arm of granite actually took out a spur gear yesterday, and I'm not sure how. It's been running on that spur gear for like a month now, but somehow it took out a spur gear, so. I'm gonna have to fix that. I don't have that part either here. Um, and then what else? I think that's it. The rustler. The mini Revo stayed together yesterday, but we didn't really drive it a whole lot. The slash 4x4 brush stayed together. Rustler broke. I just fixed that. Jab one I haven't drove yet. It's still brand new. Rustler. There's my, uh, there's my drag car, guys. I don't know if you've seen it lately. But. Oh, 
Uh, we are going to drag race this year. It's just been too cold. Today it's like 45 degrees out. We're going to go down to Bloomington, Minnesota and race with the guys. But me and my dad looked at each other last night. Went, yeah, it's going to be too cold for us. Um, it's not really that cold out, but it's about 45 out right now. So, I mean, we could go, but our Brooklyn Park actually today. It just, uh, it's just cold. We don't want to. I'd rather stay home and bash stuff today, I think, anyways. I'm not really in a race mood. Um, here's some of my batteries, guys. As you can see, I have a mix of everything because I do run everything for batteries. Um, my 1000, 8000, 120C power hobbies are good batteries. I've had good luck with the Hugos. Gen's Ace Basher packs are awesome. I have four of the 4S and I have one of the 3S. Podways do good. I have a couple of those. There's a couple of them in the charge. There's a charger I'm using. I did do a video on that charger. If you guys are interested in it, you can watch it. And then this is the only body I've ever shoe glued, guys. It was kind of a pain. I don't think I'll ever do it again, honestly. Just because of how big of a pain it really was. I think I'd rather just go buy another body. But garbage. Yeah. Um, and then actually, this thing's been out of commission for a very long time. But I got the parts to fix it, so let's fix it. Let's just throw a new motor in it, get it done with. Um, so I'm going to work on this, guys. I'm going to let you go. Um, it's not going to be anything fun to look at or see. So um, Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Um, and I will, uh, if you guys comment, I try to comment back as much as I can. But sometimes I get busy and stuff and I can't always comment back. Um, I do have a normal job Monday through Friday, so just so you guys are aware. That's why I don't always reply right away. Usually I don't go on my phone at work just because I drive for work, so it wouldn't make sense. Or I can't actually, but... Um, so drop a like and subscribe guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.